Let's take a look at how to create a B2B style landing page in Google Sites in about five minutes. So our starting point is going to be a list of landing page ingredients. And the ingredients include a page name, which will double as the URL, a page description, a on-page title and subtitle, the left column text for a three column layout, the book cover, which goes in the middle column, the download now action text and the form itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is to copy the page name. We're gonna go into Google Sites and create a new page. And the first thing we'll do is paste in the site name, which will also automatically generate the URL. We'll leave this as put page at top level and then click create. The first thing we're gonna do here is save and get out of edit mode. And then click on the gear icon and go to page settings and uncheck everything because we want the landing page to be as sparse as possible. We will paste in our page description here because presumably this will provide some level of SEO value. So we'll add that in. And now we have a very bare looking page. We'll go into edit mode next. And then under layout, we'll select the three column layout, not the simple one, but this one right here. And there's our layout. So we'll go over to our ingredients and we'll select our title and subtitle. And we will paste these in. So we'll get these centered and we'll take our title and make that 24 points and bold. And we'll take our subtitle and we'll make that 16 points. We'll also change the color from the default black so we actually get a hex value in the HTML. And the reason we want to do that is we want to grab this hex code, which is a color that matches our book cover. And we want to go into the HTML here and paste that in. These are linked, so I'm going to just change this back to this color here. Okay, so now we go to our leftmost column and from our ingredients page, we will grab our left column text. Copy this and simply paste it in here. And we'll select all of this and we'll change this to Verdana. Let's make it 12 points and let's throw in some bullets here. And of course, after you put in bullets, you often have to take out some carriage returns. And then next we will go into the middle column of the three column layout and we wanna go into the HTML here. And we happen to have a little snippet of image code here that we will paste in here and update. And let's get this centered. Okay, over in the right column, let's type in download now an exclamation mark and we will make this 12 point bold give it a hex value so we can in turn go and grab our hex code here and then go into HTML and replace this and update so the last thing we want to do here is to insert a gadget, and there happens to be a gadget for embedding iframe. And what we're going to grab here is our web form code. This happens to be from form assembly, and notice it has to be HTTPS to be supported by Google Sites. So I'm going to paste this up here, uncheck everything, and then use 325 by 600, which I know from experience is a good fit. Switch this to canvas and then click okay.
And the last thing I'll do is just add a little separator here. So insert a horizontal line and then click on save. And there is our landing page. Now, since I pointed a subdomain to this Google Sites page, I have this URL, which gives us the public version of the same page. So this is the code you're going to want to use or the address you're going to want to use for your call to action. If you're not currently using Google Sites, you can click on the I button up here to try out Google Apps for work, which includes Google Sites. And I've also added a link in the description below.